All right, this video is going to cover our assignments during week 15. So we have two opportunities. One is required, one is optional. We have our final exam this week, exam number two, and we have an extra credit opportunity as well. So I'm going to jump right in. We'll talk about the exam first, then we'll talk about the extra credit. So exam number two is set up very similarly similarly to exam number one that we took um, midway through the semester. It's open all week. So it opens on Monday, December 5th and closes at 11.59 p.m. on Friday, December 9th. And it covers all contents from week nine through 14 of class. So what I would like you to, rem to do is really be sure to prepare yourself for the exam. I've said this multiple times. One of my critiques of the textbook for this class is that there is not a um, like a glossary. So you can't flip to the back of the book, look up a, a term, and then find where it is in the textbook. You really need to be familiar with the textbook in order to do well on the exams. Um, so be sure to spend some time this week preparing for this. And remember that once you start the exam, set aside uninterrupted time because you can't start it, stop it, and come back later. You have to take it all in one sitting. Um, so follow directions. Know that there are 43 questions and there's no essay questions. It's all multiple choice, true, false, fill in the blank, or matching. Um, you have two hours to complete it. So again, set aside that time. Once you do complete the exam, be sure to click submit so that your answers are saved. Remember that the exam is open book and open material, but the restriction is you cannot work together. So you do need to take the exam independently. Um, so um, this is my screen and it looks a little bit different, but just jump on into that anytime between December 5th and December 9th. Um, so that is what the exam looks like. Let's talk a little bit about the extra credit opportunity if you are interested in it. Um, so you can earn up to 25 points of extra credit for participating in this assignment. Um, it will be graded like other things. So it's not an all or nothing thing. Um, so you're going to watch this, uh, the Cure from Burnout TED Talk. Um, it's not very long, but um, it's, it's really interesting. So what you are going to do is answer the following questions. Number one, burnout is characterized by three symptoms. And I want you to go to the video. So what are the three symptoms that they talk about in the TED Talks? Name them. Number two, one of the tricky things about burnout is that it can be challenging to identify the onset of these symptoms. Why? Why is it challenging? Number three, what are some ways, at least two, that you can improve your ability to recognize the onset of these symptoms? So not what you're gonna do about, um, like how you're gonna address burnout, but I want you to talk about at least two ways that you can do a better job of recognizing the onset of burnout symptoms. Number four, once you recognize these symptoms, what are things that might be helpful to address burnout. So at least two. So if this is my year, the way that you address it should be related to the symptom that you're identifying. So how do you deal with it? Number five, share one thing you learned or were surprised by. You can't say nothing and get credit for it. So what is some, one thing you learned or were surprised by when watching this video? And number six, share one critique or question you still have after watching the video. There's got to be at least one thing in order to get full points. So be sure to share that information. Um, posts are due by Friday, December 9th. No response posts are required for this extra credit. Um, you're only responsible for exploring these six questions. Um, but just remember, late submissions will not receive points. So go ahead. So be sure to um, be sure to par participate on time if you want the extra credit points. So um, that's it. So answer those questions um, and let me know. Yeah, if you have questions about this opportunity or about the exam, head on over to that homepage, post them there, shoot me an email. 
Um, I hope I'm really looking forward to wrapping up the semester. So just a little more energy to push through. You guys did an excellent, you all did an excellent job this semester. Thank you. And um, please do reach out if you have questions about this class or the CAS program or in general that you think I might be able to help you with. I really look forward to hearing from all of you. Thanks everybody.